Hi, serving as church clerk with Steve at the church in South Carolina. I was responsible for every dime of money that came into the church and went out. And these accusations made against Steve about taking funds from the church for his own gain is absurd. I know for a fact that he gave and sacrificed his own money even to support the church himself personally. So I know for a fact that the, these accusations are false. Hi, my name's Marcy. Steve was my pastor here in South Carolina for eight years. Um, I could talk all day about how great that was, but right now I want to talk about the fact that there are lies being spread around that he stole $200,000 from our church. That is a lie. Uh, I'll start with saying the decision to sell the home in order for him to take his family and move back to Florida to take care of his dying father was a decision that we all helped him make. It wasn't an easy one. We didn't want him to go, but it was something that we felt that he needed to do. Um, the information that's out there that the money was stolen from us uh, is a lie. I don't know who this man is that's spreading these lies. He's never reached out to us, never asked any questions to see if it's the truth or how this came to be. Um, I would encourage him to call me and ask me uh, if you have any questions, let me know. There were no secrets. There was no stealing. I'd like for you to know the truth if you care to ask. I am a former member of Lighthouse Ministries in South Carolina, formerly pastored by Stephen Shives now resides in Ocala, Florida. Um, I was a member there for several years, a uh, very close friend of Steve Shives, and still to this day, several decades later, uh, close friends with Steve and his family. And um, just wanted to say that these uh, outlandish uh, comments about Stephen Shives stealing or taking money from uh, the former church or anybody for that matter, anyone who knows Stephen Shives knows that that's an impossibility. It's a man of integrity, who loves his family, loves God, patriot to this country, and anyone that says otherwise is out for something more than truth. So if you want the truth, you can call me, 770-891-5946, and I'll set the back straight. I first met Steve Shives over 20 years ago when myself and my family joined the church that he was pastoring here. We joined the church almost at its inception, and we continued to serve in the church until Steve and his family moved to Florida. I can tell you from firsthand experience that Steve's number one priority in life is to serve God. He is one of the hardest working people I've ever met. The memories we built while in that church are precious to us. That church was full of love, compassion, and service to the Lord. And we cannot speak highly enough about Steve and his character. I was a member of Finish Line Ministries for three years. Uh, Stephen Shives was, uh, was our pastor. Great man, uh, did a lot for our community, did a lot for me and my family. It's the kind of man to get the shirt off his back for you at any moment, any given moment. Uh, so I just want to address this issue with this, uh, this fellow wanting to make up these uh, false accusations with Stephen supposedly scamming the church, which is absolutely ludicrous. Um, Stephen's a good man, good heart, would never do that. Uh, Stephen lives down in Florida now, and um, some of our members of the congregation, we still talk, you know, do Facebook or whatnot, see each other through town, and nobody has ever had any negative to say about Stephen or this thought even come across anybody's mind. Steve was my pastor in South Carolina for about eight years. Um, Steve is an outstanding leader in the community and as a pastor he has a heart for people and for the work that the Lord has given him to do. 
Um, our time with them was so wonderful and special, and I really felt like I could trust him um, as my spiritual leader, but also as a friend. And we're just so thankful for the time we had with him. Steve was my pastor here in South Carolina for seven years. And to hear these rumors and lies circulating in Florida that they stole money from our church is very heartbreaking, and I'm very upset about it. Steve and Deidre were very devoted to the church and the congregation. We were a very small congregation, but we came together as one and did what was needed for the church. We were always there for each other. Steve and Deidre did everything for us and never asked for nothing in return. I asked that the state of Florida open their heart and their eyes to see that Steve Shives is the man that you want to represent your state.